What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we got Top Snipe Filters. Now, I know you guys love this video. I know we got some MT. I know that you guys love the Auction House Glitch video. So we're gonna drop this banger. We're gonna show off the Top Snipe Filters in NBA 2K20. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button. Let's get 150 likes. We're gonna do some MT giveaways on Twitter, bro. We're mad close to 10K, that's my goal. We're gonna start doing a lot more giveaways once we hit that 10K button. So make sure to smash the sub button because we're so close to 10K and honestly, I post content so much. You guys will not regret it. I post everything, bro. I literally post everything, the flaws about this game, everything. So if you guys could please smash the like, all that. Also follow my Twitter, I'm selling MT. As you can see, I have a decent amount of MT trying to sell. But yeah, let's get into the video because honestly, I know you guys are here for the snipe filters. Let's get into it. Let's get into the main snipe filter right here. It's about 4,000 MT. This is going to be the best snipe filter in the freaking game. So here we go. This is all you got to do. It's literally just put your buyout to around 3,000 MT and refresh with the maximum bid. Now, do I think this snipe filter is that good? Do I think it's amazing? I think it's pretty freaking good, especially if you have low MT. Obviously, the best way to snipe right now is the auction house glitch because, oh my god. I will be on today. I will definitely be trying to get that auction house glitch done because, dude, if the auction house glitch... If the auction house glitch works, bro, and you like... Dude, for instance, off the auction house glitch, I got Giannis for 250 and Shaq for 5 something. Like, what? If you guys don't know their prices, I also got Vince Carter for 100k flat and Vince Carter for 130 flat. So, if you guys don't know the prices, Shaq's almost at a mil. I got a freaking 400,000 MT clean off the reduction everything off one cart. Now, yeah, you need I needed a mill to do so, but yeah, I'm just saying. So Diamond Filter is honestly good. You know why it's good? Because first off, it's good for investments. This Contino Mobley is honestly really good. Even though he is short, He's people are going to like this card. He has a very, very good stats, amazing stats, great dunk, great steal. His perimeter defense is trash, but you could possibly invest in him for 34-something and possibly flip him for 5 so yeah, it's pretty good, and also since they did drop the new locker codes and whatnot, that's a pretty good snipe. They dropped the locker codes, Lamar Odom Diamond for 3500 I doubt his price stays at that, he's such a good card, he's still a bunch of baller. So I think that Lamar Odom Gold, or Diamond I should say, is definitely a good snipe filter. So let's get to the next one, this one's the pink diamond filter. Like, I'm also gonna say this, when the auction house is down, these snipe filters are not valid. Like, I, I don't know. I don't really like sniping while the auction house glitch is going on. But yeah, right now there is no auction house glitch. It looks like it will happen later. I'm going to try to get as much MT later as possible. Do not sell your cards now. That is another thing. I would definitely not recommend selling any cards right now because that is definitely scary. If you sell your cards, you could possibly lose out on thousands and thousands of MT. So definitely do not sell your cards. But yeah, pink diamond filter. Put up your maximum bid over the maximum buyout. Um, you want to put your maximum buyout to around 11,000 MT. Um, we're going to have a market talk video later as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, pink diamond filter. I will go 12K. There's so many snipes that it possibly could pop up. There's just so many. That's why I like this filter. I always put my maximum bid higher. And then you mat you refresh with your maximum bid. Now, without further ado, man, let's get into the next snipe filter. This one is literally for budget ballers. You're trying to make a thousand a piece per minute. This one's the one for you. If you make a thousand per minute, 60 minutes in an hour, possibly 60k max minimum in an hour. So let's go over it. It's the Ami filter, man. This filter has been good for so damn long. And I'm gonna tell you one thing: if you guys invested in Spud Web for 1,200, he actually went up so much, and you can make thousands and thousands of MT off of it. So here it is, man. 1,500. Spud Web's at the 1,500. He was at 12. You could possibly buy out those cards and sell them for two, um, for even more. So here it is, man. The snipe filter. You probably want to go to fourteen hundred. Refresh with your maximum bid. This filter is going to be good in many ways. This filter is going to be good quickly wise. If the cards are going to sell quick, you're going to get them quick. It's consistent, and yeah, this is one of my snipe filters. So three snipe filters done. We're probably going to do about six. Let's get into the next snipe filter. This is the big baller brand. This is the Galaxy Opal snipe filter now. 
Something I'm seeing, there's no Trey Young. So now there is no Trey Young Opals on the Galaxy Opal Snipe filter. What does that mean? What will Bugs be doing? Probably sniping Galaxy Opals until the auction house glitches. Now, Galaxy Opals, Galaxy Opals. Everyone's about the Opals. If you want to possibly get a snipe, if this search bar is popping up consistently, it means you're delayed. So what you guys want to do, if you are delayed, if you are listening to this video, this is going to help you get faster auction speed. First off, it could possibly be your internet. It literally could be your internet. My internet is top of the line. I usually get snipes. Sometimes I miss them because kids sometimes get really lucky. It's honestly just based off how you refresh exactly and also your internet. So as you can see, my bar is searching. I kept my Xbox on all night. It means my auction block is slow. So what you want to do is if your auction block is throwing up the searching bar to help you snipe better, go into freestyle, shoot a couple greens, and then get out. I don't know why that works, but every time it works, it, it works every time. And I don't understand the meaning behind it, but one of my subs told me, shout out to you, I forgot who you are, it's a while ago. I'd say it's an almost snipe video. Just make sure while you're sniping on the opal filter, since it's highly competitive, you do not want to see the searching bar. So like right now, I see the searching bar. I'm most likely, if anything pops up, not going to get absolutely anything. I'll probably get nothing. Because I'm delayed. Kids aren't delayed. Like, if you're not delayed, you shouldn't see the searching bar. So go into freestyle, shoot those greens, come out and get on the auction. If you still have the searching bar, it's most likely your internet. Just wanted to say that. Um, I would recommend Google Wi-Fi. It's like $300, but you will have the top Wi-Fi around. No one could beat Google Wi-Fi. That The Wi-Fi is just incredible. Um, definitely try that out. But yeah, let's get into the next night filter. We did four so far. We're going to talk about a couple one. This one is going to be slow paced. But it's the fact that you could get so many snipes. Yeah, it might take a while to sell. But honestly, a lot of kids are posting heat checks, okay? A lot of kids are still posting heat checks. Yeah, they're out of packs. I don't know the meaning behind it. I was trying to get myself an AD, but then these heat checks are out of packs. So they have a ton of value. So now, sniping the heat checks are going to be gone, are going to be OP. But you just got to be patient with it, I guess. And also, man, if you're not going for AD, you're not going for collector level, like all these heat checks, bro, like you can make so much MT off these cards. I don't know why they took them out of packs. I don't understand the meaning behind it. But like if I were to sell all these heat checks, which I'm really thinking about, I could literally make like 100K a set, which makes no sense. These cards are doo-doo. People are going to buy them because of the set. But like that car right there is 71 over 50, 15K, 6K. Every card's like 5K plus. So Heat check filter could be deadly if stuff actually pops up. Like I said, they're not in packs. I don't understand the meaning behind it, but yeah, heat check filter is going to be deadly if you definitely like want to sit here, maybe waste a couple hours, but you can make 5k a pop each card if you really get them for cheap. So let's get into the next night filter. This one is definitely the most consistent in the game. Highly competitive though. I've seen opals pop up on this filter. Um young simba loves this filter like this filter right here man is really really good like right here 500 500 missed that one it's just so highly competitive it is so hard to snipe on this filter that's the only thing but if you're getting cards for 500 mt think about what's gonna happen if you get them for 500 mt you're gonna sell them for at least 900 you're gonna make at least 300 profit of each so if you make 300 profit of each card you pick up three per minute you're gonna make around a thousand mt clean per minute it's good not only the, that, people throw up pink diamonds and opals for 500. You just got to be super insanely quick. So, like, look. Look at all these snipes on Xbox. They're all snipes. I'm not even going to attempt to buy them because, as you can see, I refresh and they're all gone. It's just that hard. Like, okay, I got JaVale McGee for 650. It's just so hard, that can filter. It's definitely one of the best filters in the game, but you know how it goes, man. All these snipe filters. So, honestly, I'm going to rank these snipe filters. One to five. One being the best, five being the worst. So, I'm going to rank these. It, what I think the best. So, I say the diamond filter is the best. I honestly do think the diamond filter is the best because if you think about it, diamonds are really like budget cards. Bunch of ballers don't really know pricing. I know pricing. Like, I don't know. Some kids that are new to this game really do like the diamond budget ballers and all that good stuff. So, I feel like the diamond's definitely going to be the best. Next up, I'm going to say Opal because you can make the most MT. Yeah, it's going to be extremely hard to snipe on the Opal filter if you're not good at sniping. Would recommend the Ami filter. So Opal, then I'm going to go, I would say Ami filter. No, I would say Pink Diamond filter because there's a definitely a lot more better doubt. But the consistent wise, Ami filter, and then I would say the 650 filter, and then the Heat Check filter. But yeah, that's all we got for the video. Just some snipe tips. We're going to have market talk later. Don't worry. I'm going to get a car wash. I wish I could get a haircut, but I can't. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
Stay tuned for more content. Snipe all day. Enjoy the auction house glitch. Have a good one. Peace.